Yes, people, yo, that is King of Africa coming straight at you, the name of the song. Welcome to the Reggae for Water show. You know what I'm talking about? Cape Town to Cairo by a foot for water. I'm going to play a few songs from the recordings that we have, the music that we're going to release along the way, and the music that's going to belong to the people through the People's Publishing Association. So if you know yourself to be poor, if you know yourself to be in need of money, if you know yourself in need of company and togetherness, then join that association from Cape Town to Cairo because this is how we're going to change the game in the entire record industry, the entire record, the music industry and how the business is done. You know, you the people add value to this music. If you people don't love this music, this music is never going to be popular. But if you people love it, it becomes popular and then it has value money-wise. What are we going to do with the money? No, we cannot bank it and keep it for ourselves and live a high lifestyle. We've got to make sure we distribute it to the people who give it value. Not so. Yeah, that's the way it's really supposed to be. So that's the whole idea of the People's Publishing Association. So you must be part of this, you see? And then spread the word about the music, starting here on Facebook. Spread the word, spread the word, spread the word, you know what I'm saying? And so that the poor can benefit to buy their what? Diapers for the new babies. We also call them nappies, you know, food, water, be able to boil the water and pay their water bills and all those things and send children to school, school fees, but mostly for the togetherness that comes out of it. So this unity is what's going to happen. Yeah. Now we have to preach unity as exactly what it is, unity, regardless of what the risks are, you know. When you care about a place, you don't send other people to go fight the war. You go fight the war yourself because you're the king. You lead the people into the war, and this is the economic war. You know what I'm saying? My people, don't be afraid. Come with me. Let's go together and make this whole thing work out. I'm going to play for you a song called King of Africa. We're going to release it. And this song is dedicated to the, the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth. Love to you, Liz. Love, Rastafari. And the Queen of Denmark. I've always loved you, Magrede, Rastafari, and the King of Holland, one love to you, Willem, Rastafari, and the King of Spain, one love to you, Rastafari. And why I say that is because these people know who Rastafari is, they know who Haile Selassie is, and we've already written them letters, you know, we've written them letters about what we're doing, and we really expect them as kings and queens of this world who know and love His Imperial Majesty, that we, the servants of His Imperial Majesty, must go forth and do this works, reggae for water. We're depending on the kings of Europe to support us and to stand on our side and stand for the righteousness and goodness, you know, that's why I love... <coughs> I love Elizabeth especially because I know that she's a God's child and his imperial majesty love her, you know what I'm saying? She's a good woman. She stayed married to the same man all these years and she does did her duty all the time. She never run around except for high morals. And if people and if people if common people had just half as many morals as the Queen had, you'd have a much better society. I'm telling you God's honest truth. Don't look at the wealth that she got. It's not about the money, it's about the character. Check out Queen Elizabeth. She got real good character within herself. And all you people who are judging without understanding, you have no idea. His Imperial Majesty is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in Conquer Land the Tribe of Judah. He makes no mistake. He makes no mistake. So children, listen to this. Here we go. King of Africa. Long live the Queen. Long live the King.
song by myself about myself and about the mission the album that we're releasing at this moment for all people you know this is the king's album and you're part of the people's publishing association the king's music will take care of you make sure that you can pay all your bills and everything some people don't want to hear this type of reasoning because they want to say who's this guy calling himself king of africa but what you are is what you are what you do is what you do these are kingly works these are kingly works I'm gonna play you something else to say ready to world. We've already given you that. Where is the love? Um, what else do we have for you? We've got something called something to hold on to, which is a prayer to the most high God who is the king of kings, you know what I'm saying? And this is a tribute to all the great ones who've gone before me, all the great leaders of Africa who've gone on before me for the right of the people of Africa who never feared anything, just like I don't fear right now, we show love, and this is called something to hold on to, children, all right? Is it gonna come right? It looks like the volume is down. Nice and acoustic, recorded in London. Something to hold on to. Revelation. And this again is dedicated to the King of Holland, the King of Spain, the Queen of England and the Queen of Denmark. We are writing letters as part of the release of the album King of Africa, which shall soon be released in this time. We are planning for release on the 23rd of July, which is the Earth Day of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie. Emperor Haile Selassie, who we know that these people love and respect. We know that the Queen of Denmark loves His Imperial Majesty. I want to say to all you Rasta people out there, you must learn how to treat this thing the right way it's supposed to be treated, you know. Anytime you sign a letter with Rastafari on it, these royals in Europe, they understand who it is about and you've spoken to them personally. So, you know, Rasta, don't take it to be a small little cultural thing where you can act with your own small little cultural nonsense and treat your woman bad and whatever. Live up live upright because it's not only Rasta people who love Emperor Haile Selassie but also the kings and queens of this world love Emperor Haile Selassie John F. Kennedy love Emperor Haile Selassie you know what I'm saying the Shah of Iran everybody out there in the world love Emperor Haile Selassie so you have to know who you're dealing with 
live up and do the right works, okay? Yes, I don't take it for a joke. Rastafari is not a cultural joke. all of a sudden walk with me father I really love you ah. <laughs> stops there but anyway that was that one how many minutes we've got 30 minutes is too long all right people so that was the message here the royal message of the music enter the people's publishing association and this music is uh livicated to the queen of england the queen of denmark and the king of spain and the king of holland all lovers of his imperial majesty emperor hila selassie i ja rastafari